I'm gonna build a map, much like a classic we built from a few months ago, called Cup of the Birthday, I think it was called. This is a map I made four or five months ago. Ended up being a very good competition, and I think it was mostly due to how good the competition map itself was. It's gonna be hard to top this, but I will try. The winner of the tournament gets 1 million, by the way. The prize pool is 1 million, since we're celebrating 1 million subs. Uh, in the currency of the South Korean won. S $700 or so? 770 I think. Let's start on the ground, because all good maps start on the ground. Chad has it figured. If you start on the ground, it can only go up afterwards. I want to make like a 1M in the start. Whether it is drivable or not is up to you guys to find out. We could spice this up a little bit, even though it's in the shape of a 1. It's gonna look the same, right? The 1 is a, it looks a little bit like... Um, what do you say? It doesn't look that sharp. Wait, is this symmetrical? It needs to be there, right? I'm not tripping. Okay, sorry, I, I did not see that until now. So, how do we get from here to, that, to there in, in a good way? Um, the way I thought... It's probably something like this, but let's, let's test it. Some good maps require testing. Oh no, you lose time. <laughs> you are on a timer. If it expires there, let's just think about that. Can I then do this? Okay, it's a very... <laughs> I just want to see, I just want to see. Can you, like, jump into a bug slide at the end of that? If there are multiple divisions, there'll be a sk skill check. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Worst part is it actually kind of works. It actually kind of works the way I wanted it to. Try again. Bro, that is kind of clean. <laughs> That's very good. What is that? Is that plastic? The first part of the M, you can do a... Uh, a wall bang there to save a bit of time. Go here. And then you can go here. <laughs> okay, that's a gear issue. Uh, it might just go there. Wait. Maybe a little bit of speed. <laughs> okay, well. Um... Might consider making that a tiny bit easier. <laughs> okay, this is not <laughs> this is not the best idea I've had. Uh, it's kind of cool though. I, if you're playing this, I would definitely want to go for consistency. Cause it's uh, hitting every shortcut, every run. You're probably gonna make a mistake. So it's like 30 seconds by here. Uh. And then, of course, you would get this perfectly. Don't even worry about it. Don't, I don't know why you're worried about it. This flip is so consistent. It's amazing. I'm definitely at the no respawn timer. While we're trying to get the, uh... See, every time. Works every time. We kind of need to have a finish somewhere. Uh, it's it's approaching that time where it's it's time for a finish. It's definitely definitely time. It is kind of wicked if you if you get the good flip, and we put a finish like up here, 
up there. You can hit that. With a good landing, right? You carry speed and just... Okay. <clears throat> should be like here. Not even kidding. I think it should be up there. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, that's a little extreme, I think. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. So, it starts out with this. You get to see the lovely fireworks, you bug slide, and you fly across to here. Could maybe even land in another bug slide, who knows? The choice is yours. You drive across the M, you can choose your own path, I go for this one. Here as well, you can choose your own path. You can go here into a jump, into a bug slide if you want. That's up to you. And then the flip that works every time. Never fails. Into. The risky finish. Now you could do the safe finish, but I prefer the risky. You're free to do whatever you like on the map. If you find a faster way, if you saw a shortcut when I was building that I did not see, go for it. The world is yours. And the match is going to start soon. And there's only going to be one winner. Of one million Korean won. Which is about $770. This Let's say, like, winners of the dude, lower divisions get 50 bucks each. On becoming a YouTube millionaire. He's starting it in a second. Good luck to everybody. Let's watch the no knockout. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Looks like Juliano in the lead. Good start. Lingo and Aerosol as well. Across the M. Getting the slide, carry speed. Now the flip though. Juliano missed it, I think. Oh, Aerosol missed it. Lingo? You're not actually hitting it. Risky Finn? Lingo! Oh, they missed. Okay, this is a little laggy to spectate. I wonder if it's due to the player count. I think once the player count is smaller, it will actually be... more bearable. Because I think the player count makes it tricky. Matt hit the risky finish. So did Poop You. It's not the fireworks, alright? The fireworks does not cause net code problems. It causes FPS problems. Okay, I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna drive one round. I don't want to interfere with my own tournament, but I'm gonna do one round while we wait. Good luck to everybody. The slowest six will be knocked out, and I'm assuming it's gonna be based on not being able to finish the map. Someone's gonna get caught in a respawn trap. Stuff like that can happen. Oh. Pretty good start. Let's turn on cars. Oh. That was a bad idea, because I cannot see anything. <laughs> like, especially when they're teleporting. It's so hard to see anything. Alright. The flip. That's pretty good. It's not enough for the risky. So I'm instead gonna do that? What the hell? That was so clean. I've never seen a strat like that. Oh my God. I reduced airtime and got a side flip. That was crazy. Still, there's people all the way back here. Even the Spanish chem. Trying to get there. Oh no, he's too fast. Cam! Cam, no! Oh, he made it. Oh, did he? Oh no, oh no, Cam! It is disaster. It is disaster. This is like 20 knockouts. That's Div 1. Oh, 
about 24 KOs, Div 1. I'm gonna do one more round, because I don't think it were... I don't think I'm taking anyone's spot by, by doing one more. If every player finishes, then it will be the slowest six, but not every player will finish. So as long as you reach the finish line this round, you should be fine. Okay, sure. Oh, this is this is trouble, yeah. So what I need to do here to save this is probably just slow down. Um, slow down appropriately. Oh, and then don't turtle. Okay. I'm 17th with that. We are gonna have mass DNF, I think. Mm. Jake is playing. How's he doing? <gasps> uh oh. I shouldn't have noticed him. Wait, he might have time. Oh no, yeah, the speed is so tricky. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. This is possibly the worst thing you've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, okay, the flip. Surely, every time. It just does not fit. <laughs> I am gaining positions with this. I went from 24th to 5th. It never fails. <laughs> Dude, is it bad that I enjoy playing this more than watching it? That should not be the case. The, the Dude, second that I take someone's spot, on the million subs. from pace alone, I will happily retire. Can I do one more? I uh, one more, please. I'm having so much fun. One more, one more. Last round, and then I will sit back and watch. All right, here's the deal. If I get, never mind. Last round. Last round. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I was about to say if I get first place, I can continue, but... Isn't this, uh, like, you know what they call in-the-field reporting? Where instead of sitting in a studio far away, a reporter actually goes to the, uh, area in question and sees, you know, how it's like on the ground? That's what I feel this is. This is just in-the-field casting. On-location casting. Way more exciting to go through the struggles that other players also go through while casting the match. Um. Oh no, now is upside down, I just saw him. No <sighs> last, voice. last, last, so last. Alright, let me cast, let me cast the next round. Dude, seeing people caught in respawn trap- Oh wait, he has to speed! He has to speed for the risky! But, oh, he missed again. Okay, last. You need to get it now. He has to speed still. Full right, full right. Three, two, no. I respect it. I respect it. Juliano actually hit the risky. Ladies and gentlemen, it is round number seven of the one million subscriber tournament virtual is hosting, and he is also playing. I am live here on set, taking you through round number seven from the ground, giving you a player's perspective on what it's like to play this awesome map. It starts out with that right slide drift, and we're gonna hear some people spamming their funny horns. Maybe not, actually. No horns heard on the track. The bug slide coming through. Gonna cancel the slide very early to make sure I land it. Save a little bit of time, but not drive off like those two losers on the left side there. Completely missing the turn. Amateur stuff, um, as I'm now intentionally going a bit further back here to catch all the action. We don't want to be too far up in front, so we're gonna go... Get a nice overview of the race here from 21st place. See a couple of people face planning a bit, you know, unfortunate bug slides. And then you're going to hit the risky finish to catch up to everyone else. Uh, okay, maybe not either. 250. So this I actually saw earlier, and I think the best way to save it is just to... 
do that. Uh, and with that, your caster will move on to the next round. He will not fail the ending. Sure, surely, yes. And we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens in the next round. Uh, at this point, I straight up did knock out some players. Do I keep playing? Wait, if I get knocked out now, I get 34th. I'm having so much fun. Keep playing, it's your 1 million. It's our 1 million. <laughs> our 1 million, because I couldn't have done it without you guys. <laughs> oh no, someone's gonna fail here. And it ain't me. Uh. And I am not the one who's gonna fail. Haha. -ha. <laughs> so funny to laugh at others when they crash, you know? It's not really meant to be rude, it's just funny to see others crash. And think, wow, that looks terrible, but at least it's not happening to me. Dude, this ending is claiming so many players. It's almost like it is not consistent. Okay, I will only continue this next round if I get the risky finish. I will not allow myself to continue with the safe fit. I might go out this round, but I will only go for the risky. Okay? Is that a deal? I will prove the risky finish is very consistent. So that would not be enough speed. So let's go again. I don't think that would be enough either. I don't think that would be enough either. Uh, you know what? We might have to respawn a few more times. Okay, now we're in a bit of trouble. That looks... Oh no, that's not enough speed. Um, okay, I lied. I want to survive. So we're... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I tried, I tried, I tried. I tried, okay? It just didn't work. I gotta do one more on the ground casting round. Ladies and gentlemen, the caster has scammed many people out of their chances of winning 1 million Korean won, but now we're gonna take a nice back seat here so we can give the others advice on how to play the map better because they're clearly inferior to myself. Uh, who actually made the map. Um, as you can see here, a couple of really bad starts from some players. X on there, upside down. That's not the way you want to drive it. I'm not sure if he knows that. Um, gonna respawn here to catch back up with X on so we can watch him fail again here. Clearly not doing well under pressure. Oh, someone off the side there. Also a awful mistake to make. And here you just want to get more speed. I don't know why people aren't going for the risky finish. It's quite easy if you just go fast, so... Uh, that's what I'm gonna... I'm not fast enough. I'm, I'm not fast enough. <sighs> it is time to say goodbye as a caster. And welcome our warriors into the top 20. I will resign here. There's one more spot. Now took it with the risky jump. Let's watch. Dude, that was a triple Norwegian knockout. Here we go. We've seen Juliano and um, I think it was Lingo hit the risky finish a few times. The cost of going for that wall bang, you can see it loses speed. It's a problem. Oh, going so sharp. Oh, and pays the price. Cuts a little bit too much on that jump. Want to release land early, not get pushed off. He's going to be uh, last here. Ixon hitting the pillar. Oh, quick bug slide there too. Great, great strat. Now catching back up. 
Oh, dude, Juliano has some great lines. He's driving this map very quickly, but if he gets stuck here, that could be the end of this run for him. So he needs to watch out. He's going to slow down, try to get the safe. Eris looks like he's ran through some tr tr trouble. Is he just going to commit? Eris is going to commit. Try to get there. He's at least going to pass one. Oh, he's 10th. Base. In 19th, gonna pass a couple people. He might be in there. Ixon might still be in. Both of them looks like they have made it. Oh, base actually being in the last surviving spot. Top 20. A reminder that only the winner gets anything here. If you get second or third, you get nada. Tech given a new. Chance at survival. Oh, some people are not going to make it. Justin had to respawn, I believe. Or at least take the long way around. Yeah, he respawned. Now as well, having to respawn in the start. They are going to be the last through that checkpoint. Lorenzi is getting through here. Let's take a look at the lead, though. Anyone going to get the speed? <gasps> Yawn might have it. Does he dare? Does he dare? He's going! Oh, but he's too fast. No, he made it. He made it with the Risky. Lingo's going to get second together with Matt. Yuliano also hitting the Risky on the second respawn. This round is a quick one. Keck Dreams, I think he's going for the Risky. Missing it. Missing it. Who is last? I can't even tell anymore. Is it Intox? Justin going for the Risky. Missing it again. Keck Dreams. And Justin are both there. Respawning the risky finish and Intox takes 10. Rip dreams. Lingo with good speed. Oh, he could get a great time here. Does he hit it though? Misses the risky jump. Respawns immediately. Now slows down for the safe. Aerosol also missing the risky. And where is Laurentius? Decides to go for the safe. Looks like all players going for the safe. Aerosol though, full meltdown. Another respawn for him. He's down in last, I think, with his Norwegian opponent, Intox. Arel down there too, but he's finished. Juliano totally on the finish. Juliano has to back up for speed. And he will get passed by Intox, who survives on the line again. Oh my god. Arel, Intox, Jan, Corny, Lorenzius, now Lingo and Matt. Very stacked here. Lingo missing the drift. Lorenzius with a wall hit. That's gonna ruin their bug slides. Like, this is hard to hit. They both survive it. I think all players have it. It's a very close round. Only three seconds. Lingo missing the bug slide here. Still, though, this is the best round we've seen all game. Oh, Lorenzius having to back out of that jump. Recognizes he doesn't have the speed. Lorenzius in last. Yon missing that one. Okay, a couple of respawns on the flip here. What's that gonna do to the standings? I, I actually don't know. I think Intox second last right now. Corn. Nobody's finished. Nobody has finished it. Lingo second finisher. Corny looked like he was going for the risky. Decides to go for the safe now, but it's not too late. Lorenzi is finishing. I think Int Corny's too late. Corny's out. And Intox is again an orange. <laughs> Corny went all in for the risky and he missed it. They have to survive four more rounds here. Or five. Five more rounds, rather. To win. Lingo, low speed. Gotta have to respawn and he still has low speed for his next bug slide. It's a bit troublesome. Oh, gets pushed here as well. Able to save it though. Intux holding that second to last. Like he's done the entire game. Missing the bug slide as well. But I think someone respawned behind Lingo. Mac going for the jump. Safe. Arel. Safe. Yon. Safe. Intux double respawn. Lorenzius can catch up to this. It's between Intux and Lorenzius right now. Intux in clear last. 
But Lorenzius has to respawn. The gatekeeper is still going to be safe, I believe. Lingo and Intux now finishing. Lorenzius missing. How? How does it keep happening? This man is going to be indebted to the entire Trickmania community, the way he's playing. The way he's PayPaling every other competitor. But he's playing the format well. You never need to win any round except the last one. If he's consistent this way, that's all he needs to be. Until the final round where he has to win. Top five now. Matt Lingo getting good bug slides. Mike had pushed off though. He saves it. And all five have survived. Yawn with the slowest start. Gets back. Catches up to Intex. Dead even. Avoids the corner clips. Yawn with an inside approach. Getting past the ice. Bug slide coming through. Both players getting it. This is a sick round so far. The ending should decide. Matt could go for the risky. He saves it. And we have a double fail here. But Yawn with the worst respawn has to double respawn. Intux, what's the play gonna be? Goes on the middle booster. Goes up to the top. And the others are gonna survive. Is Intux gonna turtle though? He has low speed. It's low speed, but he makes it. And for the fifth time, he is again second last. Whoever wrote the script for this is doing a great job. Will he go the distance or will the journey end at some point? Aurel Intux Matt Lingo. Intux with the worst start, also not getting the bug slide. Not having the angle for it. Big respawn there, and if the others are safing, that's a problem. So he might need to go for the risky. Currently a four second gap, three second gap. Matt, Lingo, Aurel all surviving it. Is this where the journey ends for Intux? Let's first see the bobsleigh flip. Oh, they're all having it bad. He's going to be able to catch up to this if he gets it somewhat good. But he misses it as well and gets the checkpoint. Oh, he should not have gotten the checkpoint there. Aurel able to continue. Matt able to continue. Lingo able to continue. This is looking rough. He would need someone to turtle up here. And it is not going to happen. Intux gets to fourth, but no further. If he got that bobsleigh flip better, he could definitely have caught up. Still a good performance, though. Top three, Aurel for BDS, Lingo, and Matt. Aurel getting across. Very close round. And Matt with the pillar hit. Juicy wall bang to maintain his lead. Lingo clipping the corner a bit. Aurel catching up to second place with that. The bobsleigh flip will decide it. It is consistent, it works every time, but only if you do it correctly. Aurel getting it very good. Matt as well. They all have it, actually. Closest round of the tournament. Lingo jumping far. The other's going for less airtime. Matt's gonna land with a lot of speed. Aurel going upside down. And Matt and Lingo will both get it well. 48 and 49, respectively. That's a good round. For 1 million won. And winning the 1 million subscriber cup. It's Matt versus Lingo. North versus South America. Best of luck. Matt missing the drift a bit. Having to release. Drifting for the bug slide setup to make sure he gets it. Lingo going very left, but also getting it so cleanly. The best checkpoint we've seen in a while. 14.2. Matt getting a good wall bang though. But will it reduce the gap just by a little bit. Lingo still one second up before the perhaps decisive bobsleigh flip. Will he get it? Will Matt get it? Matt gets it good, but Lingo has it even better. Is he going to go for the risky? No, he's going to save. He's going to try to save. Jumps far. Matt going for the risky. Matt missing. And types a GG in chat. Perhaps a bit early to say it, but Lingo gets a good ending. 47. GG to Lingo. I think he won the last cup I hosted as well. Very good at stuff like this. Shows what he can do when not held back by his teammate Buckley in the regionals. <laughs> GG's.